My name is Abdullah. I immigrated here four years ago, and uh, I'm a food delivery and a grocery delivery, and this is my main income. I have a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. I used to work in construction. I couldn't get into construction easily here. It's not easy to get into the market. So when I moved to Canada, I wasn't allowed to work for almost three to four months. I was waiting for my work permit. When I got my work permit, it took me another two to three months to find a part-time job with minimum wage. That couldn't help me much to save my saving. I was like, I consumed all my saving within like this period of time. So I needed to get like a quick action before I start building up my debt. So I leased my, my car and I started delivering food. It didn't go well with me in the beginning as my, I had a lot of expenses. And uh, day by day, I get used to it. I was happy with food delivery until the platform start like lowering our wages. Wages and COVID went down March to May 2020. Streets were empty. Everyone either laid off or working from home. Everyone trying to save themselves, their health, their family health. I'm risking myself. I'm risking my partner health. I'm going to street. I'm using public restaurants and, and shopping centers to get those items delivered so I can pay my rent. So I was assuming to get higher pay because I'm at risk. And platforms didn't provide us with a lot of, of health safety procedures. So we're at very high risk and we can't use the washroom to wash our hands and no hand sanitizer. So I was assuming higher pay. And this is what we saw in the first month or two. And then our pay get very low. It just surprised me and uh, sometimes I felt that I'm, I'm not trading my time and my car with some dollars. I'm just trading my health with some dollars and that that is very very sad for me but I still have to do it. I need to pay for my food. I need to pay for my rent. I barely sleep four to five hours a day and that only to make ends meet and sometimes it's hard for me to make ends meet. They say that we're like a subcontractors, but I don't know, I don't feel that. I don't have control over my job. My job actually controls me, controls my life. And uh, I don't have any difference between weekdays, weekend, or stat holidays. I just work like all days, all year. Once it was February and I was delivering a pizza. It, it was snowing at that day. So I slipped into my back and I had two options. It's either to broke my phone or damage the pizza. I couldn't damage it because I would lose the bay. That's what, what I was thinking mainly about. I didn't think that losing my phone will cost me a couple of days income. And then I delivered the pizza successfully. There was no tab and my phone got broken. And also when I slept, I hurt my back. And my doctor said that I need to take a rest for like no driving over half an hour for 15 days. That affected my income, and uh, I, I, I didn't have any support within this hard time. So companies is using newcomers, and by that they don't provide health benefits, they don't provide any income support, they don't provide any accident support. That's the main reason that they use newcomers. Newcomers choose this job because they don't have any other option. We need the right to know, we need health benefits, yeah, we need all our rights.